The 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 rupees. Triumph subjected its Speed Triple 1200 to a ground-up reimagination to turn out the 2021 rupees variant. This is it folks, the most powerful Speed Triple to date with more cubes, grunt, and power than ever before. It's also lighter and narrower to get the most out of that extra juice, and comes complete with a well-rounded, performance and convenience-driven electronic suite. Tuned up lines and an all-new look finish out the package in style. 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Design In keeping with Speed Triple tradition, this newest edition freely shifts between track and street. The new Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Sports Genetic Markers established with the 1994 original to make the crucial connection to the established family design but it also carries a host of features all its own this time around. A molded front fender leads the way in lightweight carbon fiber material to limit the unsprung weight at the front axle for extra supple suspension responses. Agility was a front burner topic for the design team, and to that end, it dropped some weight from the chassis and made the rider's triangle more purposeful to add a healthy dose of control to the mix as well. Head-on, the Angry Bird LED headlights, DRL brows, and compact housing fit well with the overall look, but I gotta say I'm not a fan of how it looks in profile, almost like an insect-like afterthought that simply does not look like it belongs. Oh well, if you're riding it, you don't have to look at it, yet? An all-new, 5-inch TFT display delivers the critical metrics, in color, and it networks with your smartphone to field calls while underway and provides navigational support. Ride quality and ride control electronics are also bundled with the rest in one display for ease of operation and a simplicity that keeps the top front looking sharp and uncluttered. A wider, 31.2-inch handlebar and new seat profile reshape the control triangle to put the pilot in a more commanding position than ever before. And since this is also the lightest speed triple ever to roll, it's also the most nimble to date. Plus, the bar end mirrors add some swagger to the package. The seat rides at 32.7 inches off the deck, which is fairly standard for sport bikes but will definitely be tiptoe country for anyone around 5 foot 9 or shorter. It is what it is, folks. A compact tail section supports an interchangeable pee pad, and recessed in the tip of the stinger. A stylized LED taillight ensures good visibility from the rear. A bolt-up mudguard carries the LED back blinkers along with the license plate holder for easy removal ahead of race days, because in keeping with speed triple tradition, this newest edition freely shifts between track and street. 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Chassis This is the lightest speed triple ever to roll, it's also the most nimble to date. Aluminum tubing on the speed triple 1200 rupees makes up the exposed aluminum twin spar frame with a bolt on subframe, also in lightweight aluminum, to finish the main structure. A single side aluminum swing arm mounts the rear wheel and leaves an unimpeded view of the rear hub from the exhaust side of the bike, but it's more about the weight savings than any sort of vanity concerns. Speaking of weight, the reduction efforts paid off with a loss of 22 pounds to make the total dry weight a low 437 pounds. All-around Olin suspension components take care of business with a TTX36, twin-tube monoshock outback opposite a set of inverted 43mm, USD forks. The full trinity of tweaks are available at both ends as part of the stock package, as is the 4.72-inch suspension stroke that's fairly standard for the genre. Rake and trail measure out at 23.9 degrees from the vertical and 4.1 inches long over a 56.9-inch wheelbase to land deep in agile territory. The steering geometry works with the lower overall heft, weight centralization, and pilot machine integration to make this the most nimble speed triple thus far. Cast aluminum rims round out the rolling chassis with a 17-inch diameter front and back in Metzeler Racetech RRK3 rubber in a 120-70ths and 195ths, front to back. The hoops come with a Z rating, so they'll take everything you and the new speed triple 1200 rupees can dish out and more. If that ain't enough in your estimation, you can get the factory option Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SC2 tires installed before you roll it off the lot. Serious Go requires some serious stop, and Triumph obliges with all-around Brembo calipers that bite dual 320mm discs up front and a 220mm rear disc, 
all under the protection of the stock optimized cornering C ABS feature. At the front brake master cylinder, the brake lever comes adjustable for span and ratio, so if you've got small hamburger shovels, you can set up the hand control to suit. 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Drivetrain. Torque maxes out at 9 grand, but much of it is available fairly early in the rev range to give this mill a very deep torque well. Naturally, the real star of the show on the Speed Triple 1200 rupees is the revamped three-banger engine that contributes to its name. Even the engine was subject to the weight loss effort, it rolls 15 and a half pounds lighter with lower rotational inertia for snappier spool-ups and throttle responses. It's water-cooled with a beefy concave radiator mounted up front to eliminate the waste heat and help the mill meet its emissions obligations. Triumph has dubbed the Triple's power deliver as the Wall of Torque, a name that might sound pretentious if the factory didn't back it up with 92 pound-feet of torque, 6 pounds o grunt over the previous version. Torque maxes out at 9 grand, but much of it is available fairly early in the rev range to give this mill a very deep torque well indeed. It also picked up almost 30 horsepower, so max power clocks in at 177.5 ponies at 10,750 revolutions per minute to make this machine come alive at the top end. Dual overhead cams time 4 poppets per head for a total of 12 valves to provide efficient aspiration and exhaust. Each bore mics out at 90mm with a short 60.8 inch stroke to give the plant its 1160cc total displacement. Seriously spicy 13.2 to 1 compression ratio will demand the highest octane you can find, but higher operating costs is one of the things you should expect when you start dealing with bikes this radical. A six-speed gearbox helps you keep the revs in the useful power range with a slipper-type clutch that prevents excessive back torque from developing in the drivetrain that could disrupt the rear contact patch during heavy engine braking and hard downshifts. Plus, Triumph's Shift Assist Quickshifter lets you work both up and down the range with nary a pull of the clutch lever or a reduction in throttle. That's not all. A switchable traction control system comes optimized for cornering with a quartet of intervention levels that will let you dial in for the prevalent conditions or get set up for track days. A set of five riding modes also comes stock and boasts an enhanced track mode to further its racing chops. An enhanced front wheel lift feature adds another layer of safety. It allows you to get the most out of the potential for acceleration with no risk of an uncontrolled moonshot or loss of acceleration. Top speed is somewhere in the neighborhood of 155 miles per hour. 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Price MSRP is $18.3000 no matter which color you choose. You can choose between the glossy sapphire black package and matte silver ice finish, both of which roll for $18,300. These are new paint packages to mark the new variant in the long-running speed triple line, and are intentionally understated so as not to detract from the mechanical marvel they cover. 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Competitors No doubt about it, the new Speed Triple 1200 Rupees is a tough act to follow within the naked sport segment, but I think I have a worthy competitor right out of Europe's boot in the Ducati Monster 1200. Ducati Monster 1200 Rippling with muscles, the monster cuts a singular figure with its high and tight bodywork, well-integrated headlight can, and beefy front end. Like its counterpart, the monster can be quickly switched between solo and two-up riding, street and track alike. Also in common is the external frame structure and single side swing arm. Ducati hits many of the ride control high points with ride-by-wire control, wheelie control, traction control, riding modes, power modes and cornering abs. It packs 1,198 cubes in its L-twin configuration and generates 147 ponies with 91 pounds o grunt to fall a skosh short of the 177.5, 92 the trumpet brings to the table. Fully adjustable stems support the duct that comes stock with an adjustable seat that can be set plus or minus a whole inch for a difference that you can feel. As the Ducati falls short on power output, surprisingly, so it also commands a lower sticker price with a starting MSRP of $14,995 to leave quite a bit of cheddar on the table. Is it worth it for the extra power the Brit provides? Depends on the rider I suppose. Read our full review of the Ducati Monster 1200. He said.
Compact, agile, and powerful, the newest speed triple 1200 rupees brings racetrack performance to the every rider. But you better know what you're about when you throw a leg over this aluminum steed because ride quality electronics are no substitute for skill. It's my opinion that it is worth the extra cheese, but honestly, you'll never do it justice on public roads. Better not, anyway. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, in a from the ground up redesign for 2021, Triumph brings us a new speed triple to contend in the naked sport bike market. Handling is improved. Performance is more dynamic, it has more power, and electronics are improved to bring the RS into contention for top spot. 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 Rupees Specifications If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.